What's up, everybody? It's one plus one equals nine. Coming at you today with Ark Stories, and today we're actually taking a, a break from, I guess, the uh, the normal episodes that we usually do. Uh, just just kind of goofing around today. Um, we're gonna we're gonna test a couple of things out now. Whoa! I forgot how fast this guy is. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna come over here. This is, uh, this is a taming pen I built for the Dodo Rex. Which, as you could see, it didn't, it didn't stand up at all, because he broke right through it. Um, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do a, a couple things here. And see how it turns out. I'm actually gonna put you a little further up here, just for your protection. For your safety, uh, as well as mine. Um, so let's see. Let's go ahead. Go back to the the little pen. I I I should probably make a door there just to kind of keep stuff in. Yeah. All right. So <coughs> let me go ahead and whoops, wrong button there. Uh, no, I don't want. I don't want to do that. Nope. Okay. There we go. There. No, okay. Now I'm tapped out. Cool. All right. Let me go ahead and pull this up really fast. And basically, <coughs> what we're gonna do? We're, we're gonna turn this t this pen kind of thing into an arena. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, we're going. We're going to. Uh, <coughs> of course, we're obviously we're going to use the the console command. Um, Basically, we're gonna spawn some dinos in here, and we're just gonna let them, you know, go head to head, and you know, see which is better, which makes it, which doesn't. So this this should be interesting. Um, and I don't know, maybe maybe we might do a little mini spin-off series about this kind of thing. Who knows? De it depends. If you guys actually like this video, if we could get 10 likes on this video, then we're gonna I'll make a little mini series here. I'm not, it's not going to be a break from the normal arc stories. I'm still doing those, but at the same time, I'll go ahead and do this little mini series, arena fights kind of thing. That's what we'll call it. We'll call it arc stories, arena fights. How's that? <coughs> um, let me see. I'm just all right. Cool. So let's go ahead and get these cheat codes. <laughs> now they're not really cheat codes. They're just console commands. You c now console commands. Uh, if you don't already know, you can do them in offline mode for anything and if you're an admin on your server you could do it there as well and basically there's a lot of console commands for a lot of different things you can use them to spawn dinosaurs and creatures and items and food and weapons and the whole shebang it's pretty much cheat codes but you know it, we don't like to call it that here in the PC world um, <coughs> now uh, Usually, usually, like I said, I stay away from this thing. I stay away from the console commands. I like to do ch things legitimately. Even though I'm, when I'm offline and in our online episodes, um, I still like to... Obviously, on online, you have to do it legitimately because I don't host my own server. But offline, I still like to do it legitimately. Just, you know, because... Who likes to just play a game using cheat codes all the time? I don't. I don't know about you guys, but I don't. I sure as hell don't. So here we go. Okay, now of course I'm on the Arc Wikis. Arc, well actually Arc Gamepedia instead of Wikipedia. Arc.gamepedia.com. They have everything you need to know about this game, including all the console commands. So the first thing we're going to use. I got a good one. Let's go ahead and put a DLO. We'll put a DLO. Versus a dodo. There we go. There's the dodo. Okay. So let's see. Spawn dino. Dino path code. One one one. And the last number is going to be his level. So let's let's put him level fifty. And there's a level fifty dealer. Oh, and he's trying to kill me. I forgot. Hold on. There's only that's gonna freeze him and he's not gonna do nothing to me. See? Haha! <laughs> you can't get me. Cool. 
All right, so now let's go ahead and get the Dodo code, and we're gonna pit Dilo against Dodo. That should be interesting here. Uh, do do do. Here's the Dodo code right here. Boom, got it. All right. Now, of course, there is um a different way to spawn things, but I like this one just because it's direct and you can play with the levels. One, 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 and let's make him level a hundred. Oh, but you know what? He's not gonna die though. Whoa! Hello. Nothing like spawning on my face there. Dodo, level a hundred. Here's the. We can't even see. I was gonna say this is the seating arrangements, but you know, okay. Players only. Go get the dodo, not me. Okay. Cool. Yeah. No, wait, where are you going? Hey, hey, come back here. Come here. Wow. This sword is either overpowered or I'm super strong and he's really weak. Maybe I'm just overpowered. Alright, so that didn't work at all because they didn't want to fight each other. Hmm. A Triceratops with a T-Rex. That'll work, guaranteed, because they always fight in the wild. So, cool. Let's go ahead and try that one next. So let me go ahead and get those codes and see what happens. Bam! There we go. Alright. So now we have our Triceratops, which is, uh, he's, walk he's, he's working out there. He's, uh, he's running in, in in place, yeah, a little walking in place. <laughs> it's funny looking. Now him, I did level him up. I did, well, I didn't level him up. I spawned him higher. He, I, he is spawned at level 150. And here's the T-Rex. He's spawned at level 100. Just because normally T-Rexes are stronger than Triceratops, anyways. So I figured, why not make him a little bit stronger? Um, yeah. So here we go. We're gonna let them loose in three. Two, one, go! There they go. Oh! Uh oh, oh, oh! That T Rex looks really strong. Like they're both attacking at the same time, but that Triceratops is starting to get a little bloody there. That might not be a good t Oh no, he's. He's. Oh no! No, not me! Don't. Jesus! Don't don't come after me. That's sad. Uh, the Triceratops knockback knockback attack actually is not really that effective because it looks like the Triceratops' knockback effect is uh, knocking that Triceratops back further than what the Triceratops is doing to him. So I think this is a little bit one-sided. Uh, th there it is. Yep. All right. Oh, that T-Rex uh, clearly won that. Uh, nope. How to? How did you reach me? That, okay. Well, he still looks good. Um. Cool. He, you know what? Let's do this. While he's still just pumping around. Triceratops. Let's respawn the Triceratops again. But this time, we're going to do this. Spawn Dino. He pooped. No, that wasn't pooped. One. one, 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 and let's kick it up a notch. Can we? Can we do level two hundred? Let's find out. Yeah, cool. Ooh, level two hundred. Awesome sauce. All right. Let's go ahead and let those guys lose. Boom. All right. There. There he goes. Arr. So this Triceratops is level 200 versus a level 100 T-Rex and the T-Rex's knockback looks to be just as effective as the Triceratops' knockback. So he's not knocking back the Triceratops harder than the Triceratops is knocking him back. Well, maybe. Okay, I spoke too soon. But yeah, there he goes. See, now, oh shit. Now he's going into the wall. Dang. Is he getting bloody already? Yeah, he's getting bloodied up already. 
Let me just go ahead and spawn another one, just, you know, to help out his fellow mate there. There we go, now we got two Triceratops. Haha! -ha! Take that! Yeah! Get him! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh wow, they're... Let me try to keep up with them. Uh huh 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 huh. There we go. Now then, the now there's a now it's a turtle. Now there's a turtle all in there. All right. Oh hey look, there's a dodo, like lime green dodo. He's gonna he's gonna join in the battle. Coming back, coming back around. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, so he killed one of the triceratops, and oh, it's I, I want to say it's neck and neck right now because they both look just as beat up as the other. Uh shoot, this might be a close one. Let's see, does he? Does the triceratops have what it takes? I don't think so. Nope. Damn. He died. Oh, All right. Wow. So there you have it, folks. Level 100 T-Rex is pretty damn tough. He's one tough cookie. All right. Cool. So let's uh. Let's see what else. You know what? Let's do the. Of course, the epic battle between. A, a T-Rex and a Spino. Let's go ahead and get those guys out in the field and see how that goes. This should be fun and interesting to watch. Alright, so before we get that, we're gonna have this little fight right here really fast. Uh, because this damn Rex killed me before I can uh, freeze him. <laughs> Cause I, I guess I forgot how to type today. <laughs> or at least within the last five minutes. There we go! <laughs> Nobody messes with the Giga. What level is my Giga? I don't know. Godzilla is level 20... Um, about to be level 25. What should I uh, increase? Because, you know, there's no point to really increase anything much. Because, yeah, it's just a little bit. Points there. Four points there. Come on. Nothing there. Nothing, absolutely nothing there. Yes, there's just really no point to level him up. You just want to catch him at a high level so he has high stats. I mean, he has high stats regardless. But, yeah, he, he's just ridiculous if you're trying to level him up. Because this is not really going to do much at all. So let me go ahead and go back here and catch my stuff. And then we'll get it. And then we'll get the party started between the. The T-Rex and the Spinal. And you know what? Maybe we'll uh, we'll see just how far we can push the uh, the dinosaurs. See what kind of levels we can get them up to. That'll be kind of fun to do and see. Where the hell's my body at? I don't know. Hmm. <coughs> All right. So here we go. Oops. Here we go. We have the T-Rex. I'm actually got a nice. Um, albino T-Rex along with a black Spinosaurus. So we got black versus white. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Alright, so <clears throat> the Spino, we put him at level 300. Yes, that's right, folks. Level 300. It's unseen before. And the T-Rex is level 200. So this should be pretty interesting. I don't know how it's going to go. I'm, I'm going to keep my distance, obviously. Uh, but yeah, let's check this out. There's only... BAM! There they go. Oh my god, they're coming to me. That's not cool. That T-Rex is totally avoiding that Spino right now. And they're going for everything else. No! <laughs> oh, this was probably a bad idea. Why would I why would I ever think that wild Spinos and T-Rexes would attack each other. They, they never do. I don't. That was kind of crap. All right. Well, you know what time it is then. Time for Godzilla. 
There you go, folks. We got Godzilla versus a, a level 200 T-Rex and a level 300 Spinosaurus. Let's see how this big guy fares against them. Um, and he gets stuck on a tree. That's perfect. All right, come here. Come here, you. Come here, you. You big nasty. What's up with these trees? <laughs> Hello. You bite me, I bite you. Yeah, not a chance, buddy. Not a chance. Look at you're already gone. You're already gone. Look at that. Oh, you're gone. Can't handle. That's right. Godzilla is supreme being. Cool beans. I kind of expected that, but let's check it out against this level 300 Spinosaurus. He's trying to break the damn gate. Come here. Come here, come here, you. Arr. Maybe that catch your attention. Yeah, it did. Come here. Oh crap, he's kind of hitting me with some knockback. That's new. Dinky little spinosaurus. Arr. Gotcha, and I'm just biting your ass. Okay, <laughs> that's that was quick. Wow, he was level 300 though. Interesting. All right. Hmm. Let's get you back over here. Wow. Okay. Shit. You. What are you doing? You just went haywire and started like, biting a lot of stuff. All right. So that was cool. Um, Spino versus T-Rex didn't work, but Spino and T-Rex versus Gigasaurus, aka. My Godzilla, that was pretty cool. And Godzilla's like level 30 something, so that goes to show you something. Like, if you try to take out a, a Giga in the wild, imagine, imagine, I hear these wild Gigas are much stronger than a tame Giga. So, if I can sit there and kill a level 200 T Rex and a 300 Spinosaurus mm -hmm. with my Giga, imagine a wild Giga. Yeah, good luck to you if you're gonna try to face that sucker head on. Um,. Cool. So let's go ahead. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the new dung beetle. Let's get the dung beetle. Because he's a tough little sucker. Dung beetle. Da, da, da. Versus. Spawn dino. Dung beetle. I wonder how far I could get his level. Oh, 1,000 maybe? Oh my god, it worked! Uh, yeah, there you go, see he's attacking. Oops, one word. Got it. Wow, he was about to bite my ass. Look at that, wild dung beetle level 1,000. That's nuts. Wow. I didn't think that would be possible to have something that high. Jesus. What if we tame this guy? Force tame. Forces him to be tamed by me. And I believe it forces it at a perfect tame. So let's see what that would do. Oh! Wow, look at that. <laughs> Level 1500. That is insane. Okay. Uh, you know what? Set him to aggressive. He's gonna be on aggressive. Let's do another dung beetle here. Right here. He's gonna be level 1000. He's gonna be 1500. Let's see how this fares out. Oh, there they go. There they go. Ooh, they're both headbutting each other. And it's kind of hard to tell, but yeah, it's hard to tell. Well, of course, they're level 1,000. They must have a lot of health. I'll check his health, like, right after this battle. But this is crazy. Look at them go. Oh, and this is this. They just keep doing that, the horn attack, and it knocks them both back. That's funny. And the squeals is like, ouch. <laughs> The 
it's nuts. I don't. I really don't know who's winning at this point. So I'm gonna hoping mine because he's 500 levels higher. But you never really know in this kind of situation. This is a battle only time will tell who the winner is. <laughs> It's gonna take a little long. Uh, uh, wait, he's running. He's running. That means he's dying. There he goes. He's dying. He's dying. Yeah, I think. Uh, is he dead? No, he's still alive. Oh, I can see the blood on him now. Yup. It's. Ooh, it's dark green. He's about to. Uh, there it is. There it is. Haha. <laughs> this guy won. Neutral. Uh, you know what? Just go to passive. Just chill. Wow! He won. And of course he loved- Oh! Look at that! Wow! For a dung beetle? 8500 health. 2200 stamina. 1395 melee damage. <laughs> That's insanity. You know what I kind of feel like doing? Oh my god, I, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna get his health up a little bit. Maybe his stamina too. Maybe a little bit. There we go. He's at 9,000 health, right? What if, uh, what if we do this? But nobody's ever seen this happen yet. We're gonna put our beetle... ...against... Do, 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 do. Against that level 100 Rex. I don't know what his stats are, but this should be interesting to watch. Let me let me set it back time. Set time of day oh, nine in the morning, and we're gonna go ahead and check this out. No, no, hey, no, no, no! Oh, that didn't work. You should, you, you should really probably attack him. Because that really hurt. Yeah. Okay, let me get some food. Alright. <laughs> what are you doing? Aggressive! There we go. That kind of was that poop from you? Oh, that's from me. I I, I crapped myself when the T Rex came. It makes sense. It only makes sense. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay, my health is up now. Uh, let's let's try this again. Oops. Okay, here he comes. Hey, you better go attack him. There he goes. There he goes. Look at that. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he cornered him. <laughs> That's what you get for walking into the pen. Holy crap! Look at look at he's doing it. He's actually killing him. He's getting bloody. I mean, it's kind of unfair and one-sided because he uh, he walked in right into the corner. Look at that. That's nuts. He's... Oh, oh, shit. Shit just got serious. Shit. Oh! Shit just got real. I just got wrecked. <laughs> Damn! Oopsie! <laughs> yeah! Uh, lag. Alright. So I can only assume 
that they're still fighting simply because I haven't seen any message saying that he died yet. That the dung beetle died. Wee sprint jumps. Sprint jumps are beast. They get you anywhere you want to go super fast. Yeah, see, he's still fighting it. Holy crap! That bug is still alive and it's probably still kicking his ass. There it is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my, no, 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 don't tell me that the dung beetle has him on the run. Oh man, that is nuts. No, stop coming after me. You gotta fight the dung beetle. Fight the dung beetle, not me. Damn. Come on. Oh crap. Stupid trilobite, he got in my way. How you doing, the dung beetle? Maybe you can't see me? Nope, I lied. <laughs> That T-Rex is getting messed up. Oh, wow. Look at that guy. Oh, now he's trying to break the, uh, the, the thing. Darn. See, that, that stops him from attacking the dung beetle. Because now he's trying to break the gate. Which is pointless. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could check it out from high above. Let me see. Like maybe I could try to influence him by just attacking him every time he hits the gate. Alright, come here. Come here. Come here, you. Boom! Alright. Uh, he's cornered again. He got him! No way! Holy cow! He got him. He... He killed the, uh... He, he... Damn, he killed the Rex. Hmm. I'm thinking... <laughs> level 1505 and he just leveled up too oh my god this dung beetle is a beast he is something else hey you want some meat you're probably hungry there you go all right uh we're gonna do, you know what we'll do one more battle oh you know what i'm going to do I'm going to... I'll leave that there. No, I need to clean that up. Um, yeah, let me clean it up. And we'll be right back after I clean that uh, T-Rex carcass. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We're at the, the last round. Dung Beetle, level 1508, against a level 10. We're going to start off low. Level 10 Alpha Raptor. These guys are bad news. I mean, any route, any Alpha is bad news, but the Raptors are a real pain in the behind. <clears throat> As you remember from Arc Stars Season 1, when me and Stanley ran into one, that wasn't fun. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, this should be fun. Ready? Let's do it! And go! Oh my god, no! Crap! Oh, I forgot they could, s they could swim, too. Go ahead! There we go! Nice fight! Oh, crap! No, damn, Dimitri. Or no, that's not Dimitri, that's a uh, regular Pterodon. He's going to die. But before he does, let me try to get to him. So the Alpha Raptor doesn't kill him. Come here, come here! There we go. Oops, I think I might have just opened the gate. No, I didn't. Good. Oh, and this fog is it's horrible. Alright, so they're battling it out. There they are. Oh, man, I can't tell who's winning from here. 
it's it's oh my god this fog it's horrible can I get rid of this I don't know how Is that that didn't even that made it brighter but it didn't really work much oh man they're still going at it I could see the yeah <laughs> The Dung Beetle has just whooped his ass. <laughs> that is nuts. Oh, but he is beat up. Ooh, yeah. He's at a third of health. Nice. The Dung Beetle, ladies and gentlemen. The Dung Beetle is one kick ass creature. He just whooped a level 10 Alpha Raptor. The meanest little bastards uh, on this Ark Island. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Wow. Dung beetles. They're mean. <laughs> cool beans. And he leveled up, too. I wonder how much he leveled up. Wow, look at all that meat he grabbed off of him, too, before he died. Bam! Look at that. 11,000 health. I wouldn't want to mess with this dung beetle if I were you. Not with 11,000 health. He might be able to take on the Giga. I... Oh, you know what? We... We're gonna do that. But not today. No. If we get 10 likes on this video, we're gonna go ahead and pit this dung beetle against a Giga and see who wins. But we're not gonna do it in this pen because, of course, the Giga will get cornered too easily. But we'll do, we'll do it in open space. We'll set it up. So that way it's an open space, but he won't go after anything else. He'll just go after the dung beetle. And we'll see how that goes. I mean, it might be one-sided, but it might not be. Who knows? This dung beetle is pretty small and pretty evasive. You saw how he avoided the T-Rex's bite. He might be able to just do the same thing to the Giga. So let's get, let's get 10 likes on this video, and I'll go ahead and make another, another battle arena video putting this dung beetle against the Giga of whatever level you guys want it to be just let me know in the comments below let me know i'll spawn it we'll make that we'll make that episode and like i said we might even do a spin-off little mini series of these uh, battle arenas with some crazy opponents but there you go that was the first episode hopefully hopefully you guys like this video and we can you know we can make some more videos if not i'm just gonna we're just gonna stop it here we'll never know if this dung beetle can handle itself against the Giga. But like I said, 10 likes, and I'll make another video pitting it against the Giga, and we'll continue from there. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys like it up, keep an eye out for that video coming out. If not, of course, keep an eye out for the other arc stories and any other live feeds that might be coming up. You never know. So there it is. You saw it first here and only here. Haha, <laughs> arc stories, guys. Catch you on the flip side. Laters.